Hey, good morning. I'm Brian, your Chords and Notes Nation, and this is another music reaction video. Haggard, Chapter 2, Upon Fallen Autumn Leaves, from the Tales of Etheria album. Let's go.
lyrics in front of me. I wish I did because there was quite a bit here. I, well, almost all of it I didn't really understand at all. Uh, but that's all right because musically I was I was enjoying. Uh, there was a lot of a lot of stuff going on musically. Um, first and foremost, I'm not a big fan of Cookie Monster vocals, the growling. Um, it has its place. I think when it's it's the featured style of singing. It, it's kind of off-putting for me. Uh, I mean, there was a time where I, I was okay with that, with like when I was getting into Opeth, but that's only because I knew at some point in, in almost every Opeth song there'd be a transition into clean vocals and that sort of thing, and and that's kind of what was going on here, right? Except it was sort of a reverse. It was it was mostly clean vocals, operatic singing. Um, so let's let's do it this way. There was a lot of contrast here but the contrast wasn't um, so far-fetched that it didn't fit and what I mean is is um, classical music and metal metal came from classical music okay it did not come from rock and roll true metal is based on the diatonic scale rock and roll is based on the pentatonic scale um, so and and classical music is based on the diatonic scale as well so classical and metal fit very well together and so they are a contrast, but they are also um, a good fit, okay? In contrast, as far as metal is, the, the, the hard, distorted aggressiveness where classical is more of the, the, the peaceful, clear, calm um, sound. But they fit well together because they're based on the same scale, uh, theory-wise. And then you have the operatic singing and the growling, which are seemingly opposites but it's it's all within the the human vocal capacity to do these things um, so it's it's all depend it all depends upon how it's applied and in this song you had a, a lot of diversity a lot of variation uh, when it comes to that there's no doubt that these musicians are top-notch um, as far as their composition are concerned and the vocalists that I've heard thus far um, the, the, the growling in this song was bearable because it was very sparse and it was it was used to accent a certain part of the song or certain parts just as the operatic singing was used to accent certain parts so it it's it, it goes along those lines of, of what purpose what instrument best suits the purpose of the song uh, and, and each moment in the song each movement in the song uh, and, and so that starts to reflect upon the capabilities of the musicians to compose music rather than just 
compose songs, and and I really appreciated that. Uh, the, certainly, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this album out and see where it goes. Uh, it's one of those albums, or it's one of those bands now that, since I'm new to it, um, has piqued my interest a little bit, and at some point I may um, purchase some of their music. But that's all I have for now, so thank you very much, and uh, thanks for the subscriptions, the likes, the comments. Um, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you guys are up to date on all the videos that I'm putting out, and I hope you have a happy holiday season. Take care. Bye.